has started. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya I offer my humble obeisance unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vasudeva. Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Shaiva Narottamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jayam Mudirayet Before reciting Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the very means of conquest, one should offer respectful obeisance unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Narayana, unto Nandarayan Rishi, the supermost human being, unto Mother Saraswati, the Goddess of Learning, and unto Shri Vyasadeva, the author of Srimad Bhagavatam. Nashtaprayeshu abhadreshu nityam bhagavata sevaya bhagavati uttam ashloke bhaktir bhavati naishtiki By regular attendance in the classes on Srimad Bhagavatam, and by rendering service unto the pure devotee, all that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed, and loving service unto the personality of Godhead, who is praised with transcendental songs, is established as an irrevocable fact. Gurve Gaur Chandraye Radhikaya Tadalaye Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namo Namaha Hare Krishna, dear Vaishnavas, thank you so much for joining. I was reading an interesting verse, very, very nice verse on the glories of Srimad Bhagavatam. Paramananda Pathaya Prema Varshi Aksharayate Sarvada Sarvasevyaya Shri Krishnaya Namastate O Srimad Bhagavatam, I offer my respectful obeisance unto you. By reading you, one attains transcendental bliss, for your syllables reign pure love of God upon the reader. I repeat, for your syllables, your akshara, prema varshi aksharayate, they are showering the rains of Krishna prema. Your syllables reign pure love of God upon the reader. You are always to be served by everyone for you are an incarnation of Lord Krishna. Beautiful verse from Krishna Leela Stava. So, how many of you have learned? Did anyone try to learn the last verse? 755? Anyone? Without seeing can tell? Okay. <laughs> Shri Pralladu Vacha Tat Sadhu Manye Asurvarya Dehinam Sada Samudveg Nadhiyam Asad Grihad Hetvatma Patam Grihamanda Kupam Vanam Gato Yadharim Ashrayet So we discussed that verse yesterday and uh, I requested everyone to try to learn uh, but ultimately it's your choice um, so we will move on very very important words we discussed yesterday so when Prahlad Maharaj was asked what do you what did you learn good in your Gurukul he said O oh, king of the de demons for those who are very attached to the body and things in relation to body, I, me, and mine, and they are taken out, um, this, they are in the deep dark well of Griha. They do not want to give up the family life. So, what is the solution for them? They should go to forest, Vrindavan, and what should they do there? Take shelter of Hari or Krishna. His Holiness Radha Gobind Swami Maharaj was explaining a nice story that a person was dying um, and he was at his deathbed and somehow the family realized that it's the last time and they were taking him somewhere and uh, there were some paper documents on which his thumb impression the child had taken so because the father was about to die now the father this person who had only maybe few hours more to live you know was trying to 
spit saliva on those documents to fudge the ink so that the person that the the people cannot take my property so this real story was explaining that how this attachment a person who has like few hours left does not want to give up the home property wealth bank balance etc very very deep dark well why because of lack of taking shelter of krishna and he also explained those who have taken shelter of krishna this verse is not for them because that griha is not a, an ordinary deep dark well for those who are sincerely trying to take shelter their home is like vaikuntha as we discussed their home is like vrindavan so they are already following the last point vanam gato yadharim ashraye they are already following that So let's continue with next verse, text number six. Shri Narada Uvacha Shrutva Putra Giro Daitya Para Paksha Sama Hita Jaja Shabudhe Bala Nam Bhidyate Para Budhi Bhi. Translation and purport by Zivain Grace. इसी भक्ति विदांत स्वामी प्रभुपाद श्री प्रभुपाद की जय नारद मुनि कंटिन्यूड व्हेन प्रहलाद महाराज स्पोक अबाउट द पाथ ऑफ सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन इन डिवोशनल सर्विस दस बीइंग फेथफुल टू द कैंप ऑफ द हिज फादर्स एनिमीज हिरण्यकश्यपु द किंग ऑफ द डीमंस हर्ड प्रहलाद्स वर्ड्स एंड ही लाफिंगली सेड दिस इज दस is the intelligence of children spoiled by the words of the enemy purport hiranyakashipu being a demon would always consider lord vishnu and his devotees to be his enemies therefore the word parapaksha on the side of the enemy is used here hiranyakashipu never agreed with the words of vishnu or krishna rather he was angered by the intelligence of a vaishnava lord vishnu lord krishna says sarva dharman parityajya mamekam sharanam raja give up all other duties and surrender unto me but demons like hiranyakashipu never agree to do this therefore krishna says namam drishkriti no mura prapadyante naradhama maya prihata gyana asuram bhavam ashrita those miscreants miscreants who are grossly foolish lowest among mankind those whose knowledge is stolen by illusion and who partake the atheistic nature of the demons do not surrender unto me bhagavad gita 7:15 the asura bhava the atheistic nature is directly represented by hiranyakashipu such persons being mura and naradhama fools and rascals the lowest of the men would never accept vishnu as the supreme and surrender unto him hiranyakashipu naturally became increasingly angry that his son prahlad was being influenced by the camp of the enemies he therefore asked that saintly persons like narada not be allowed within the residential quarters of his son for otherwise prahlad would be further spoiled by vaishnava instructions so narad muni is speaking this words to yudhishthir maharaj that what happened after the first meeting Hiranyakashipu started uh, laughing. No. Firstly, he didn't take the most profound instructions which Prahlad was giving, because five-year-old boy, uh, you know, is a, <laughs> sometimes they may speak big stuff, but a person who is you know puffed up may not take it seriously, or sometimes they may speak shloka, as Dr. Sada Gobind Maharaj was explaining, that the, sometimes the that the child may say to papa as papi papa means father papi means sinful but the father does not take it very offensively 
if the, the, the child says his father is papi, uh, he'll just say, my child is calling me with love. Right? He won't take it seriously. So he's like laughing. Maybe he doesn't understand the meaning, but he's trying to call. So the blood was very young at that point. Uh, his father just laughed at those words and said, who is, who is teaching all this stuff to him? Where, where is he you know, learning? Maybe some parapaksha, some enemy camp is coming. We discussed that Prahlad Maharaj would never consider as my paksha or his paksha. Paksha means side. He, uh, because he would consider everyone as, as his friend. But an envious person who is envious of Lord Vishnu and his devotees consider this is mine, this is my enemy. So, devotee does not consider like that because this is Vasudeva Kutumbakam. Prabhupada made this home where the whole world can live peacefully. So, Hiranyakashipu um, first laughed and uh, then basically other people are also present. So, other people mean Shanda, Amarka, etc. So, we will see how what, what he tells them further. But uh, at this point he is asking that make sure that the Parapaksha people, that's the enemies, are not coming in our camp and spoiling my son by the Vaishnava instructions. So, any other comments anyone has? Okay, let's read. You who didn't get chance yesterday, I'd like to read. I can read now. Yes, please. Text number seven. Uh, Samya Vidyartham Ba Lo Guru Kehe Vija TV Vishnu Pakshe Prati Channel Bhitir Tasya Dhir Yatha. Translation and purpose by is divine grace, the Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada ki. Yeah. Hirinya Kashipu advised his assistants, my dear demon, give complete protection to this boy at the Guru Pula where he is instructed, so that his intelligence will not be further influenced by Vaishnavas who may go uh, there in disguise. Purpose. In our Krishna consciousness movement, the tactic of Dressing oneself like an ordinary karmi is necessary because everyone in the demonic kingdom is against the Vaishnava teaching. Krishna consciousness is not at all to the liking of the demons of the present age. As soon as they see a Vaishnava dressed in saffron garments with the beads on his neck and tilaka on his forehead, they are immediately irritated. They criticize the Vaishnavas by uh, sarcastically saying Hare Krishna. And some people also chant Hare Krishna sincerely. In either case, since Hare Krishna is absolute, whether one chant is jokingly or sincerely, it will have its effect. The Vaishnavas are pleased when the demons chant Hare Krishna because this shows that the Hare Krishna movement is taking ground. The greater uh, the greater demons like Harini Kishupu are always prepared to chastise the Vaishnava and they try to make an arrangement so that Vaishnava will not come to sell their books and preach Krishna consciousness. Thus, what was done by Harini Kishupu long, long ago is still being done. That is the way of materialistic life. Demons or materialists do not at all like the advancement of Krishna consciousness and they try to hinder it in many ways. Yet the preachers of Krishna consciousness must go forward in their Vaishnava dress or any other dress for the purpose of preaching. Chanikya Pandita says that if an honest person deals with a great cheater, it is necessary for him to become a cheater also, not for the purpose of cheating, but to make his preaching uh, successful. 
so here uh, you can see the continuation of the story Hiranyakashipu is basically asking his assistants to now basically keep an eye on this boy so that his intelligence uh, again will not uh, go into the influence by Vaishnava that's what his plan looks like here and uh, uh, Prabhupada yeah, again is saying that this kind of the mentality is still exist in today's world in this uh, material world sometimes when the devotee faces the challenge in doing the book distribution or any other seva so sometimes people criticize why you have to wear this why you have to put the tilak why can't you do it at home why you have to be when you are in the public so those kind of the things we have been seeing so many times but uh, Prabhupada is very clear about when Krishna his name is absolute no matter what when one chants jokingly or one by criticizing someone uh, that will have a very a good effect either way and uh, the again the Chani Kapandipa uh, his philosophy is the uh, basically if you wanted to take care of a particular person you have to become like him uh, they say in Hindi that is what we have to do it uh, that is what uh, I understand through the back to you Hare Krishna thank you Prabhu in the last words he said keep an eye no Parapaksha person should come and it seems to be that the Shana Namarka are saying well we know no one is coming Parapaksha means Vishnu side no one with Dhuti Kurta no one with Tilak is coming in our Gurukul and then Hiranyakashipu says be careful Vaishnavas are very smart they may disguise themselves oh and come in non Vaishnava attire also and basically Prabhupada is elaborating and even we now we see so many sannyasis are preaching in you know places and countries where uh, it is you know the environment or the political situation is a little bit challenging so in, you know, crossing airports, crossing countries, cities, states etc they may not be wearing the traditional sannyasi attire um, but the focus is preaching and it's absolutely um, okay Shri Prabhupada is mentioning it Chanakya Pandit is mentioning it and uh, because the, the goal is to to share Krishna consciousness and to help others to become more Krishna conscious so Any other comments anyone has? Ingwan Prabhu has made a comment in, in uh, text. You can always speak also Prabhu when you, if you are, um, want to. But today I'll read uh, since you have already posted. So as I see it, Hiranyakashipu is using the, his ruling position to prevent his son of learning from Krishna consciousness in the same way people who are in the power tend to use their influence to hinder our development and growing spirituality however we should we shouldn't be stopper because of this we must follow the instructions of preaching and sharing Krishna consciousness absolutely absolutely and the great example um, like nowadays also many devotees are preaching in China which is very, very difficult uh, situation we know the story of salted bread how uh, it's there's a nice drama also for those who are not familiar with that story that before the uh, you know in disintegration of USSR in 1991 prior to that period uh, devotees were practically you know risking their lives and so many devote devotees were tortured in a very difficult situation but they never stopped in Krishna consciousness 
many many parents also are opposed as says Gris Bhadra Prabhu gave a few examples of uh, you know, like for example Giriraj Maharaj uh, was a multi-millionaire and the famous story then they, uh, then they hired a typical psychiatrist to so that he can come back to the so called normal because that's the point they, they say that so that his intelligence will not be further influenced so Rani Kashyapu was thinking that his intelligence is getting corrupted by Vaishnavas on the con- it is totally opposite and sometimes materialistic people think that devotees are crazy or they are misutilizing their intelligence but actually it's the other way around so long story short then Maharaj was completely firm in his decision and, uh, and then the psychiatrist said that if I stay with him for more time then I will also become Krishna conscious and then there are many many such examples devotees have done extraordinary feats um, risking their lives in difficult situations and to continue preaching so at least we can take inspiration and do we are in a country where no one is directly opposing us um, so we must try our best and even though now we may be in lockdown or or not be able to go out but we should certainly use our intelligence the point is here is it is a different way opposing situation but we have to use our intelligence to share Krishna consciousness how can we do that through the guidance of Guru Sadhu Shastra like recently His Grace Vaisheshika Prabhu has given an online seminar book distribution in the internet age so I would encourage everyone to hear that and sincerely pray to Krishna Krishna please inspire me um, this is an opposing situation but I want to share your name form qualities please help me please guide me then through Guru Sadhu and Shastra Krishna will reveal the Guru Sadhu and Shastra will reveal any other comments before we move on ok let's read the next one text 8 yes, Sandhari Priya Mataji you want to read Yes, Prabhuji, thank you. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Shri Prabhupada. Text 8. Graham Anitam Ahuya Praradam Daitya Yachakaha Prasyasya Shaksnaya Vacha Samprachanta Samhya. Translation of Purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Shri Prabhupada Kije. When Hiranyakashipu's servants brought the boy Prahlad back to the Gurukul, the place where the Brahmanas taught the boys, the priest of the demons, Sanda and Amarka, pacified him. With very mild voices and affectionate words, they inquired from him as follows. Purport. Sanda and Amarka, the priest of the demons, were eager to know from Prahlad Maharaj who the Vaishnavas were, that came to instruct him in Krishna consciousness. Their purpose was to discover the names of these Vaishnavas. In this, in the beginning, they did not threaten the boy because when threatened, he might not identify the real culprits. Therefore, they were mildly and peacefully inquired as follows. Okay. So we see here how um, where Hiranyakashipu had uh, employed uh, uh, Sukracharya's son Sanda and Amarka to 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 uh, preach him and uh, uh, about the worldly qualities and stuff and um, so but they were kind of all taken aback that he was going into this Krishna conscious uh, way of thinking and then they they were very sneaky and they tried to find out exactly what was going on in his uh, heart and who was the culprit that was behind this whole brainwashing like Prabhuji explained you know there's uh, you know they Prabhupada was told by so many mothers and uh, parents of these uh, college going students who were into the Krishna conscious movement some girls were 18 and they stopped going to college and they 
they started uh, following the Krishna conscious people in uh, in US in the 70 early 70s and uh, so they were all going and reporting there were even law case, lawsuits done against the Krishna conscious movement that they are brainwashing the our children and taking them to these ashrams and preaching them all kinds of so Prabhupada laughed and said yes their brain has to be washed because it's all contaminated so similarly they're trying to see who the culprit is you know and I, I've had my personal example when I started Krishna consciousness none of my family is in to it uh, so it was very uh, difficult in the beginning I had to you know I, I thought I have to chant 16 rounds so how do I do it because it takes two hours so sometimes I I had to between work and kids and everything I had to hide inside my uh, comforter and chant and sometimes I used to go outside and chant sometimes I used to sit in my car and chant you know there, there's so many ways but people find out in your your near and dear ones and they think it's a hobby in the beginning they think it's a hobby then they start looking at your tendencies of your behavior and then they try to tell you uh, you know this is all a cult and I, I had all my cousins my aunts and uncle are calling me and say don't do this it's a cult and it's it's not uh, it's not good for your married life it's not good for your professional life and it, it's very very um, you know it's like they're using that psychology to tell you against it but they don't have a real information on how 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 to not why not to do it because they just don't know enough and that's how these these preachers were to um, Prahlad Maharaj and we'll find out what happens next that's my understanding Prabhuji please share further Hare Krishna thank you so much Mataji for your sincere example in spite of all the difficult uh, situations which may have come so, firstly, the point here is that they used, uh, you know, affectionate words in our uh, in our niti shastra. It is like we should try to solve a problem first by sama dhamma danda bheda. First is the nice. If if the if a disagreement or if a something you know a, a problem can be solved peacefully amicably, then why? to punish why do take um, you know difficult approaches if the problem can be solved you know with a peace treaty and therefore you know before the war they would send the peace messenger let's negotiate let's you know not fight um, let's do do something and come to a consensus so that's what the the teachers are trying to do but with mild voices they're inquiring so let's see what did they inquire anyone would like to read text 9 thank you Shri yes please what's up Prahad Translation and proper by A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Kijay uh, Dear Sam Prahlad <coughs> All peace and good fortune unto you Kindly do not speak lies, just reply with the truth. These boys you see are not like you, for they, for they do not speak in deviant way. Have, how have you learned the instructions? How, have, how has your intelligence been perfect? Prahlada Mahaj still a boy, and their teachers thought that if they passed the little boy, he would even speak the truth, revealing the secret of Krishna's came there to teach him lessons in a devotional service. It was surprising, of course. In the same school, other boys of the class were not polluted. 
only Prahlad Maharaj was supposedly polluted by the instructions of, of the Vaishnavas. The main duty of the teachers was to inquire who those Vaishnavas were that came to teach Prahlada and, the, and spoil his intelligence. Hare Krishna, back to you. Thank you, Prabhuji. So look at the wonderful choice of words. Very, very affectionate. We are calling Prahlada to Vatsa. Vatsa referring to the child of the, the, the calf. The, so, Vaksha Sthala Sthita is Vatsa. You know, when one's, there's another meaning when, when something is very dear, we hold it close to our heart. Let's say if a person is carrying, you know, you may have seen that in the movies or old movies, like if a person is carrying a briefcase full of currency, they would not just, you know, hang it around and hold it close tight to their chest. Or sometimes the, the mothers hold the baby close to their chest because they're very, it's very dear, which is, so similarly, what's, that's the meaning of the word, word Vatsa. Also, a lot of time the word Bhakta Vatsala comes, used for Krishna, that he is, he is, he treats his devotee like a cow treats his uh, child. This is to give some comparison that devotees are very, very dear to the Lord. He holds them close to his chest. So, what's a Prahlad? Bhadramte. All good fortune to you, all blessings unto you, all peace unto you. What you do? Satyam. Kathya. Speak the truth. Maam Risha. Don't speak lie. So why is it emphasized twice? Like so we say, Sritam Smarta Vyastatam Vishnu Vismarta Vyunaja Always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Because it's important. So same here. Speak the truth, don't speak the lie. It actually meaning the same thing. Always remember Krishna, not forget Krishna. Mean kind of the same thing, but it is so important. So similar line is coming. Tell me the truth, don't speak... Uh, the lie. Well, other these other boys, who are your colleagues or um, other students? They are your friends and they are your, um, you know, what do you call it? Co co students. They they are not speaking in, in this opposite way. How come you learn this all this false instructions? How come you get polluted? So in a very, very nice and calming way, they are trying to inquire uh, what was the secret. So that's the first approach they used. And remember, this is the meeting, uh, this is after meeting number one. So meeting number one, Hiranyakashipu asked, what did you consider best? And Prahlad Maharaj said, that you better go to forest, you are too attached to this home and all. So, and then they start to inquire, how is this Prahlad getting polluted? So, that was the instruction given to them by Ranika Shupu and that's what they're inquiring. So, let's see what happens. Any other comments or questions? Okay, let's read the next verse. Would someone like to read, please? Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Tandar Pranam. I can read Prabhuji. Yes. Thank you. Hare Krishna devotees, Tandar Pranam. All those special Prabhupada. Text number 10. Vuddhi Vedena Parakrata Uttahote Svato Bhavrat Banyatam Sruto Kamanam Guru Nam Kula Nandana Translation to Purport by Sivan Kaisi Sivak Vedanta Swam Srila Prabhupada Srila Prabhupada Kijay O best of your family Has this pollution of your intelligence been brought about by you or by the enemies? We are all your teachers and are very eager to hear about this Please tell us the truth Purport Prahlad Maharaja's creatures were astonished that a small boy could speak such an exalted Vaishnava philosophy. Therefore, 
they inquired about the Vaishnavas who strengthenedly taught him taught it to him. In order that these Vaishnavas might be arrested and killed by the presence of Prahlad's father in Nikashipu. So Hare Krishna Prabhuji, so here, you know, we can see that Srila Prabhupada how he clearly explains how, you know, such a small boy, Prahlad, was speaking such a high philosophy. Even his teachers were astonished, you know, about uh, how Prahlad would know all about it because they did not teach him. And therefore, you know, they were very inquisitive to know how, you know, other kids, you know, might get arrested uh, and, you know, humiliated by Hiranyakashipu. So, you know, Prahlada, though he was very small, he was very brave, he was very intelligent, smart, and for the sake of other kids, you know, he he accepted the truth and, you know, uh, underwent such a immediate punishment. But being such a, you know, pure devotee, you know, like uh, Indratum Maharaj and Prahlad Maharaj, you know, for them, for pure devotees, it doesn't matter if it is a heaven or a hell, you know, what kind of, and also Haridas Thakur is one more example in Kali Yuga who has shown, you know, such a, uh, you know, pure uh, heart. Please add Prabhupada Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru. Sorry I missed that point you said for the sake of other kids. What was that? So in the for one of the you know Maharajas, I know they were telling that uh, when the teachers you know told Hiranyakashipu that you know these are the kind of you know uh, things he was teaching other students, you know Hiranyakashipu at one point told that you know this may be due to other kids you know who is actually trying to spoil my son. And when he heard that, uh, Prahlad Maharaj said that he, he, you know, told other kids are not at fault. And, you know, he got his, this Krishna, Krishna's mercy, you know, Vishnu's mercy, you know, uh, by himself. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you. So, yeah, no, thank you for sharing. It's just a call, comment to share. I was just trying to understand better. So, the glorification continues. The first step is if he can peacefully tell us so that those people can be arrested, whoever are spoiling him, and killed. That's what is mentioned in the purport. So, after all, we are your teachers. Please tell us the truth. Again, they are telling. Please tell us the truth. The last words also. And look at the words, this important word used here. Kula Nandana. The one who gives joy to the Kula, or the best of the Kula. Uh, multiple meanings are there. So, for like for Lord Ram, we use Ragu Kula Nandana. Uh, so, Etc. These this Nanda word comes multiple times. One who gives joy or Kula Nanda, the one who is glorifying the Kula. You are the best of the Kula or our family, the demon family. Your your uncle was a great villain or hero in their terms. He was a hero. He won't consider as villain. But how are you getting this knowledge? So please tell us. They're, they're trying to inquire in multiple ways. Kwan has made a comment. One thing that stands here for me is how the teachers were trying to target the Vaishnavas. Here we can see the importance of a true spiritual master and one that is diluted by Maya. Very nice. Yes, this point came exactly uh, when we were talking about Purohita. 
that how Shankaracharya, sorry, not Shankaracharya, Shukracharya uh, took the role of a Purohit for Hiranyakashipu. That is not the duty of a true spiritual master. True spiritual master always takes the side of Dharma, not the de demon. Nice point, Prabhu. And a true spiritual master is not sub, not purchased by anyone. Here in this case, you know, they were like pretty much servants of Hiranyaka Shippu, he said. Rather than, Guru is not a, a, not purchased by anyone. This, this reminds me of a short story. Uh, yeah, and the next verse is also long, you may not be able to complete. But uh, let's. One time, Pakistan Sushakur had organized a program, and someone had given a nice donation for the program, uh, a Pandal program, like tents and all that, to so invite thousands of people. And the donor was like talking in the in the class. You know, the donor has some kind of may have this kind of false ego. Oh, I am running this program. Oh, if I don't have not given this donation, and this program would have not been happening. So rather than focusing on the class of the pure Vaishnava, he was chatting with his other friend. And Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur was the lion guru, said that, what do you think you have purchased me with your donation? So, it was very heavy. Uh, so a pure guru is like a lion. Uh, but in this case, they were just, they were said, if we don't inquire, then our life will be in trouble pretty much. So, Prahlad, please tell us. Otherwise, you know, your father, Yannika Shippu, is known to torture others without any reason. And here there is a good reason also, because his own son uh, is becoming a devotee. Any other comments anyone has? Yes. Prabhu. Ah, yes. Question. yes, Prabhu. Uh, so, how do we see Prahlad Maharaj compared to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Because if you see the the work, basically the same work they both have done. And Bhagavad Gita in the chapter 10, uh, Krishna says, uh, the among the Daityas demons, I am the devoted Pralada. So, sh should we see this is the one of the form of Lord Krishna? That's, that's my question. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Prabhu. And I like the devotees are using this chat option. It's sometimes helpful and healthy so that things can go in an organized way. So, among over there, Krishna tells multiple things. I am the strength and the strong. Amongst the mountains, I am Himalayas. Amongst the depth, I am Prahlad. And multiple. Uh, that does not mean all those are Vishnu Tattvas. The point there is that Krishna is the best amongst any aspect. So that we can, you know, we see a powerful person, we say, oh, Krishna is giving him the power. That doesn't mean that he is Krishna. If we see someone in very intelligent, um, Krishna says, I am the intelligence of the intelligent. Like a big scientist making some, you know, let's say if someone comes up with a vaccine, certainly that person would be very intelligent to come up with a vaccine for this. You know, they may have done a lot of research and then Krishna says, well, Krishna can make. So Krishna gave him the intelligence. So we can be reminded of the Supreme Lord by thinking that he is the best amongst the best. So that absolutely does not mean that uh, that that person or here Prahlad is Vishnu Tattva. Um, they are special beings, like Prahlad Maharaj is a great devotee. Uh, Lord Chaitanya is you know, the incarnation of the Supreme Lord. He is Radha Krishna uh, coming together, as you we were reading yesterday. So the Supreme personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna and his internal potency coming together as Lord Chaitanya. Although he comes as a devotee, so the qualities of Lord Chaitanya, his, you know, you know may, there could be a lot of overlaps and there certainly are in the qualities, but the tattva is different. 
Does that make sense? Yes, Prabhu. So the basically, like, no, uh, Krishna is basically is uh, like praising the devotees, correct? I'm because Brahmat Maharaj is one of the best. So then, Krishna is saying, I'm, I'm, I'm the devoted like a Pralada, you know? Mm -hmm. So then we can try to see Krishna in every aspect. If someone is intelligent, whether it was a non-devotee also, we can think like that, that Krishna has given him this intelligence. If someone is very pow beautiful, Krishna says, I'm the, the beauty of the beautiful. Balam balam vantam chaham. And the strength of the strong. He may be a non-devotee too, but we can we can link it to the Supreme Lord. That he's a child of the Lord and Krishna has given him some special power for some short term. These are, yes, these are all the opulences. These are all the opulences of Krishna. It is ultimately Krishna everything. Krishna is giving everything. That's what Krishna is trying to say. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you. Anyone else has any other quick question, comment before we end? So, Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji. So, um, Narod Muni is there at that time, who is a great Vaishnava, Vaishnav, and Pralad Maharaj's knowledge also polluted as per Hino Kushabu with Vaishnavism. Why he is not behind Narad Muni? Why is not chastising Narad Muni? Why is tolerating Narad Muni? Narad Muni <laughs> Narad Muni is a very special person <laughs> because he said, Narad Muni said I was glorifying Hiranyakashipu you remember? As Narad Muni said in the previous I, we were all glorifying, we were doing stava we are doing prayers. Hiranyakashipu Maharaj ki jai. <laughs> so, in that time, um, Narad Muni is a special person who is Trikalagya, who knows past, present and future. And he takes roles in Prabhupada, mentions that in his purport that uh, it doesn't mean that Narad Muni was a servant of Hiranyakashipu at that point, specifically mentioned, although he was doing a duty. And if you remember, we discussed the example of Rupa and Sanatana Goswami, how they were serving the Nawab. It doesn't mean that they were, you know, they were doing that duty, but everything has a time. So Narad Muni was, you know, nourishing the Lord's pastimes at that point uh, by doing some stava to glorify Hiranyakashipu at that point. So, and I have heard one story of, uh, I don't remember the exact reference. Um, one time, one one demonic person tried to, you know, put his, you know, sword in Narad Muni, and you know, sword was like Narad Muni Sachidananda. He moves with his transcendental body. His body is not made up of matter, so nothing happened. It's like, you know, you put a sword in the ether. It, it, it's all spiritual. Nothing happened, so he couldn't do anything actually. Uh, but this is, I'll have to get that reference if anyone is interested, but I heard that from a devotee. So, Narduan is facilitating in short this whole pastime. That's how he does, you know, how he goes to Kamsa and says, oh, what are you doing? You're, you're not, you are, you are being kind upon the first child of Devaki. What are you doing? It may seem that what is Narduan acting, but he is a um, transcendental mischief maker. Uh, often people misunderstand him, but he all he does is to uh, fulfill the Lord's desire. Thank you, Prabhuji. And Krishna Bhadra Prabhu, you wanted to say something? Sorry. As you already, already said, Narad Muni is a special personality. And you gave the, the same thing I was going to talk about, Kamsa. He goes to Krishna, he goes to Vasudev and says something. To, and then he goes to Kamsa and Kamsa, he says something to Kamsa. And sometimes you wonder, why is he doing that? But the whole idea is he wants to expedite 
the killing that could be finished the Kamsa. So he gives all the argument to Kamsa. And this is what Narada is. And it's a transcendental personality. He want, ultimately, he is, uh, you know, of course, he's a Mahajan. And he wants to, main thing is he, he, is, he, he is the, he wants to, he knows what the Krishna has come for, what, for what purpose. And he wants to expedite the killing, you know, have come to Kamsa come finish. So as you already said, so that was the point. People usually don't want to give. I had heard one, one sannyasi who said, people usually don't want to give their son name Narada. In particularly Indian, 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 uh, you know, uh, Indian uh, culture, they don't want to give the son name Narada because he's a mischievous personality, transcendental personality. I have heard that one of the sannyasi was telling. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Uh, okay. Narad Muni, Narad yes. Muni, Muni is the Sanskrit word is sage, and Narad is Vedic sage, Vedic Rushi. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Mataji. Okay, we will stop here and continue tomorrow. Um, Gantra Srimad Bhagavatam ki, Jai Shri Prabhupada ki, Jai Shri Prabhupada Maharaj ki, jai. Ancha Kalpataru Bhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyavacha Patita Nam Pavani Bhyo Vishnavi Bhyo Ramana Man Ananta Koti Vishnavi Ndiki Chai Thank you so much Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna